What's up everyone? Welcome back to my uh, welcome back to another video of Ant Will Plays. And if you're hearing something in the back, yeah, that's my fan. And also I'm sorry for recording uploading late because my phone was updating something about iOS twelve. I don't know. But anyway, um Well, now that I'm here, um Well, now that I'm here, now that I'm here, let's begin today's choices of books. Uh, as always, we're doing America's Most Eligible first, and then later we'll do Perfect Match. As soon as I'm done this recording. Alright? With that being said, let's dive in. When tensions rise among the other contestants, it's up to you to keep good times rolling. What does that mean? Good times rolling? <sighs> Peace of mind. A few days after the runaway challenge, Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> it's time for your double date with Mc Adam, Mackenzie, and Derek. There's no way I'm picking Adam and Derek, but Mackenzie is alright. You you head into hair and makeup only to find Zeke and Ivy bickering inside. Uh oh. Yeah, I forgot last time they. Uh, last week they were announced for something, you know, to be voted off. Okay. Ivy, why don't you go lurk somewhere else? I'm trying to talk to my producer. I'm only here to borrow a bobby pin from Fatima. Am I interrupting something? Anthony, thank goodness. Sorry, guys, but we need to get Anthony ready for his date. Fatima hands Ivy a bobby pin and shoes her and Zeke out of the room. When she shuts the door behind her, she heaves a sigh of relief. I thought they'd never leave. What was that about? Just business as usual. Things have been intense in the house since you were eliminated. That bad, huh? I wish there was something I could do to smooth, smooth things over. Actually, that's what I wanted to wanted to talk to you about. During this date, you should be a peacemaker with the others. You know, break up fights, encourage them, use them to have fun, that sort of thing. That'll be no problem. I hate causing drama. We should all be having a good time here at the beach house. The last thing I want is for my friends to keep fighting. Good. And if you bring them all together again, your comeback story will be that much better, much stronger. Sounds like a win-win. And lucky for you, I picked out an outfit that's guaranteed to raise everyone's surprise spirits. And it's perfect for the galaxy themed black light bowling alley you're going to point for the date. With an extortment like that, how could how could I resist trying it on? Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. I'm keeping this jacket. I have to admit, I look good. I look good. Everyone, everyone will have the have stars in their eyes when they see you. Isn't that right, Jen? Fatima nudges Jen, who blushes and clears her throat. Uh, of course, if these dates won't know what hit him. 
Fatima pulls you into a quick hug. I can't tell how good it is to see your cute little face again. I missed our faith boy next door. I missed you too, Fatima. Fatima. I was lost without your fresh incense. Oh, you're just flattering me. Before you leave, Jen gives you an encouraging smile. I believe in you, Anthony. If anyone can bring fun back the to AME, it's you. Yep, it's always the main character that does the most work. I swear, yeah, we always do the we always do the most work. Thanks, Jen. I'll do my best. Later in downtown Miami. You and the others walk into the black light bowling alley. You take a moment to admire the swirling neon lights. Ah, neon lights. Wow. Good evening, contestants. I hope this date's activity is right up your alley, because you've got plenty of time to spare. Despair, despair at this striking venue. Carson, we talked about your, uh, your puns. Puns in the morning meeting. Were you paying attention at all? I bet his mind was in the gutter. But um, this is going to be the longest date of my life. Hey, I never been on a first date. Like, well, actually. Well, how do you guys think this was the first date? My, me and my ex, um, we, our first date was in my dorm room, and we had pizza and watched a movie. Okay, look, there wasn't any. Look, there wasn't any restaurants. There wasn't any restaurants like around. Any restaurants? What's well, around? Where I was, where I, where I was in college. Okay, the only thing that was there were Pizza Hut. Were the only fast food restaurants. Well, there's no way I could take a girl to a fast food restaurant. That's not my idea of a first date. Like taking a girl to a, to a fast food restaurant. It's just weird. Oh, sorry. Back to the story. This is gonna be the longest. Oh, right. I read that. Are you ready to get the ball rolling? If you... <laughs> <coughs> I'm ready. I've been itching to show off my skills. What skills? What skills are those? I'm going to beat you no matter what. Well, you guys can duke it out. I'm just here to have a good time. As the cameras follow you to your lane, you step under the colorful lights. Wow, I see you. You look even more amazing than usual. I think what Adams is trying to say is you're out of this world. Derek's awful pun aside, you look hot. Adam and Derek head over to the wreck of bowling balls and knock hands as they as they reach for the same one. They pull back awkwardly, going for the twelve pounder too. Would have guessed you'd be closer than to an eight. Well, either way, it's not the size that matters. Man. Hey, I'm a man. Mayezzi rolls her eyes as she snags the ball for herself. Hey, we were going to use that. You think back on Jen's advice from earlier. Hey, forget the ball. Forget about the balls. You know what make this day even more interesting? Let's make a w little wager. I'm listening. 
Whoever has the worst score has to chug the biggest drink on the menu, streak naked down the street, or do a sexy dance on the bar. Hmm. Okay, those two look sex. Those two look sexual, and I do not want to <sighs> chug the biggest drink on the menu. You mean the an the annihilator? That drink is downright dangerous. We have a deal. You grab your bowling ball and step up to the lane. You lock your gaze to the center pin. Aim the correct way to hit all the bowling pins. Um, aim in the correct direction to win the game. Right. Okay. Center. Center. Center again. Oh, I remember that. These were kind of easy, but just when they show up, they're just weird. On your last turn, the ball zooms down the lane and knocks over all the pins. And that's how it's done. Okay, don't get close with me. Is there anything you're not great at? Oh, I think you've been hiding some pretty serious bowling skills. You have a strong arm, I think. Impressive. She winks. Okay. Well. Uh, after everyone has bowled, you head back to the table to check your scores, but the scoreboard is blank. You frown. Looks like it's glitching. Mackenzie gives you a scoreboard, a quick, gives the scoreboard a quick whack, like with her hand. Nothing happens. Dang. I can't believe hitting the machine didn't fix it. I guess we'll never know who lost who lost the bet. You don't have to keep score. To, to know who bowled the worst. She throws a pointed look toward Derek. Hey! Jane catches your attention behind the cameras and mouths. Be the peacemaker! I guess that means we'll all... I guess what means means we'll all have to chug the drink. I guess so. It's only fair. Oh, you want to talk about fair? Mackenzie... I'm sorry, Anthony, but I can't do this. But we promised... Yeah, yeah, I know. We said we wouldn't ruin Anthony's first date back. But how can... But how can we not talk about this? Out of the corner of your eye, you see Piper nudge the cameras closer. The person who sold Anthony out is still here, lying to our faces. How do you... How do I know it's not one of you? We shouldn't get into this right now. Seriously, Derek, it's not like you don't even care anymore. Of course we care, but sniping at each other on a date isn't going to help. He looks. Adam looks significantly toward the cameras. I don't know what's going on between all of you, but I think we should continue this conversation later. We're here to bowl and uh, and have some fun, remember? Yeah, we don't need to get into this now. We can speculate another time. When the cameras aren't watching. And hopefully away from the cameras. Behind you, Piper sighs loudly. What was that? Give me drama. Give me passion. This is nothing. You sneak over to where Jen is standing. Jen, what should I do? The date's spiraling out of control. We can still savage this. You should invite someone to get a round of drinks from the bar with you. And I know just who to do it. It'll give you, ev it'll give everyone a chance to cool down, and you'll get a flirty one-on-one -on -one time, one moment with, which will keep Piper off your back. That sounds perfect. I know just who to pick. Like always, you head back to the others. Drinks are on me, McKenzie. <laughs> uh, McKenzie, want to help me get a round of drinks for everyone? I'm going to grab a shot while we're there. 
You and Mackenzie make your way over to the bowling alley bar. Okay. Well, I was at a bowling alley, and they did not have bars, I think. They had an arcade, but I don't think so. You and Mackenzie make your way over to the bowling alley bar. The camera's close behind. Thanks for pulling me away like this. I definitely need a moment to cool off. Happy to help. So, do you want to tell me what all that was about? Mackenzie sighs before taking your hand in hers. I wanted to have fun tonight. I really did. But losing you was so hard, Anthony. And it's even harder when everyone's lying about who betrayed who. I just don't understand how Derek and Adam can keep acting. Like every, you're acting like everything's normal. I get where you're coming from, Mackenzie. But I think. But I think we can't focus on that right now. We're on a date, after all. Let's leave our worries behind, even if it's just for one night. Mackenzie offers a small smile. You're right. I guess I'm. I guess I'm just finding it hard to relax. But if I ever do find out who betrayed you, you'd better tell me. Because I want to be there to deal with them personally. Thanks, Mackenzie. I don't know what I'd do without you. It's the black guy! Okay, there are a lot of black guys in the show. But the black guy with the glasses! <laughs> what I'd do without you. Mackenzie smiles and quickly looks down at the, at the ground. Her hair falls in front of her face. And you s it's, I think his name is Omar, I think. And you swear you can see her blushing. You step forward and press, your s press a sweet kiss to her lips. And what was that for? Do I need a reason? Easily pulls you in for another kiss. She nods at something over your shoulder. Wanna play a little foosball before we head back? I'm down for a game, if you don't mind losing. Foosball. Oh. Oh, I thought they meant. Uh, I don't know what that other game is. Both of you take positions on opposite sides. You grab the ball, ready to release into the center of the table. Game on. You drop the ball and the match begins. After the books exchange a few points, Mackenzie whips her plastic man around with an expert flick of the wrist and the ball flies right toward you toward your goal. Uh, block the shot. You move your men, men into position, blocking her shot. Hey! You flick your wrist, sending the ball across the table and into the other goal. Goal! That was loud. I'm sorry. Lucky shot. Lucky shot. <laughs> After a few more rounds, Mackenzie grins at you from across the table. That was fun. I'd forgotten what a good stress reliever this game is. You know what's a good... You know what's a stress reliever? Working. Okay, that came out wrong. That's... I don't know. Well, maybe I just know exactly what you need, Mackenzie. Could be. But do you have any ideas on what I need now? She steps closer looking at you with a soft expression. I think you need a kiss. You, you, you put your hands around her waist and pull her in for a, for a kiss. She melts into you and all you can think about is her soft lips and the feeling of her hands on your shoulders. As you thread your fingers through her hair, Mackenzie leans into the touch and grin as she sighs happily and you deepen the kiss. She presses you against the table, her kisses becoming more heated and more frantic. 
But after a moment, Mackenzie pulls away because the cameras are watching. If only we weren't in a very public place right now. You chuckle as Mackenzie kisses you on the cheek. This always seems to happen to us, doesn't it? Mackenzie smiles at you. Not to cut this short, but we should probably get those drinks things we promised to the, uh, to the others. Yeah, probably. You approach the bar and get the bartender's attention. Beer, mint julep, sparkling water, yuck. <sighs> well, I don't, well, probably beer. You watch as the bartender places your drinks on the counter in front of you. Thanks. That's just what I need. That was... was <laughs> Something tells me everyone's going to feel better after these drinks. Here's hoping. The two of you gather the drinks and head back to the lanes. Once you're back up your lane, you set the drinks down in front of the group. Some refreshments, as promised. Now let's have a toast. To... A fresh start. To AME. To these drinks. To Anthony. To all of us. Suddenly, the scoreboard flickers back to life. Now for the moment of truth. You and the others crowd around looking at your final scores. Derek, looks like you lost the game. I guess I'm going to have to follow through on that bet. You seem oddly happy about the... Hey, I never back down from a challenge. You all head over to the bar and slide onto the bar stools as Mackenzie orders Derek's drink. She returns with a smirk and sets the drink in front of the group. Th what is that? That's the Annihilator? I see crab, bacon, fries, shrimp, a burger, and a piece of chicken. And is that pizza in the back? I don't know what the other ones are, but... Ugh. This looks large. I thought you never backed down from a challenge. Yeah. Derek, you should add more... You can add extra hot sauce. Go big or go home. Can't believe I agreed to this. You grin as Derek grabs his ball of a hot sauce and a pin and pins it into his drink. Chug. 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 You know what? If this was a show, then, then people would say this. Chug. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> the three of you drum on drum on the table as Derek chugs faster and faster. Ooh, you got this. Derek doubles over the bar, coughing and laughing at the same time because he slaps his back. R.I.P. Derek. You did good, bro. I never tasted anything so horrible and available and amazing at the same time. So it's nasty and good at the same time? At the end of the night, the four of you head back to the beach house. Ah, finally! A few nights later, it's time for the next elimination ceremony. Alright, we are definitely voting off Derek. I'm sorry, not Derek. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, Zeke, I think? I think, yeah, it must be Zeke. Yeah, Zeke. As, you, as soon as you step into the living room, Zeke rushes over to you. Anthony, you gotta keep me around. I've been trying to get through to the others, but they won't listen to me. So... So, convince me... Why should I vote Ivy out? 
Come on, Anthony. You're just trying to get me to badmouth her in front of the cameras. You shrug. If you if you want to stay on the show, you need to, to be a little better at selling why. Fine. For one, she has is that annoying damsel in distress thing going. It's too much even for a hero like me. Wow, you are a jerk. Two, she lost the runway challenge, the, the one thing she's supposed to be good at. Three, just then a loud voice echoes through the house. Oh, I wonder who it is. Zeke, where the heck are you? Uh-oh. Who's that? Who do you think? Who do you think? Oh, oh my god. You turn and see you turn and see a young woman storming into the room with Piper and a legion of cameras on her heels. Zeke ducks behind you. And here we go. Oh. I thought it was Ivy. Zeke, come out of here and face me. Friend of yours, Zeke? I like her already. How did she get past security? Looks like Piper let her in. Guys, we don't need to make things wor make this worse. Zeke's worried enough as it is. Yeah, keep your voices down. Sorry, man. You doing okay back there? <laughs> the young woman spots Zeke hiding behind you and rushes over. Zeke takes a deep breath and steps out of cover. Hey, babe, I uh, didn't expect to see you here. Here she slaps him across the face. Ow. <laughs> I bet it was like this. <laughs> Zeke, who the heck is this? Hello, I'm Kendall. Kendall? Zeke's girlfriend. His girlfriend is here? How? Oh, right, he was talking to his girlfriend on his phone in a, in a, in a later, in another chapter. The other contestants stare between Kendall and Zeke in shock. I see you never told anyone about me. That's not true. Anthony knew. What do you mean Anthony knew? Anthony, why didn't you say anything? Why were you protecting a cheater, Anthony? Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. But having a girlfriend is against the rules. Can't I just say something? I don't know why. You're so desperate to get it on TV, Kendall. On TV, Kendall. That's just what I was thinking. This set is for stars only. Nobody cares about, about your dumb relationship problems. Excuse me? Can pick a fight? I think a lot of us care, especially if you're right in the middle of it, Anthony. Well, of course, Zeke wouldn't tell the, you the truth. It'd make it that much harder for him, for him to cheat on me. To think I spent years of my life on you. We're over, Zeke, and I hope let you get voted out tonight like the loser you are. As Kendall storms out, Piper sighs happily. Well, that was even better. That went better, and better than expected. Someone else take point on the elimination ceremony I'm gonna get started on this footage she heads down the hall Jin stares after her her stunned Piper set this up of course she did everyone just head outside we'll start the ceremony in a few the group heads heads to the backyard still trying to process what you just heard yeah, Piper started all this. What's wrong with trying to make drama and stuff? Once outside, you make your way over to Jen. Well, it looks like Piper finally got the dramatic moment she wanted. Yeah, she knew exactly what she was doing when she invited Kendall to the house. Can I say, it's nice to have one contestant who isn't leaving chaos everywhere they go. I hope you take talking about me. 
I am, honestly. You've done an amazing job the past few days. You're a natural peacemaker. See? You've got a ton of good footage out of it. You successfully played peacemaker with your housemates. As long as everyone in the house is a little more relaxed, I'm happy. As you head over to the stage, Ivy intercepts you. You think, I can't, I can, can I count on your support during the, during the vote? That depends. That seems a little selfish. You can't just keep people around based on what they can do for you. Ivy, that's literally the game. I suppose. I just hope by now you can see how alike we really are. Before you can respond, Carson heads onto the stage. Just think about it. Oh, we are not going to vote out Ivy. We're running out Zeke's... Zeke's lamus. You and Ivy take your places, and Carson turns his smile to the cameras. Just as the skeletons in Zeke's closet have been exposed, it's, it's now time to expose the opinions on our star, on our contestants, of our contestants. Hang on, I think I should be able to say something in my defense. No time, sorry. Yeah, Omar's responsible. Omar is the person that's doing everything. Anthony, you'll be sitting this vote out since you won the last challenge. Okay. Mackenzie, it's time for you to cast to cast the first vote. As Mackenzie heads heads to the confessional, Adam taps you on the shoulder. I know I I thought I knew who I was before voting out. Oh, but after what just happened, I could use some advice. Hmm. Tell him to eliminate Zeke, or tell him to eliminate Ivy. I really hate... <coughs> excuse me. I hate Zeke. I think you should vote Zeke out. Honestly, the whole thing with the, his girlfriend was embarrassing. And beyond that, he's pretty difficult to get along with. <coughs> Sorry. <sighs> True. It'd be nice to cut back on conflict in the house. Thanks for your help, Anthony. Adam heads off to cast his vote. I swear, if they trick me... Oh. Once everyone has voted Carson, Carson gathers you all on stage. Zeke, Ivy, you both had a good run, but unfortunately, someone's journey must end here. The next contestant to be eliminated from America's Most Eligible is... I'm closing my eyes for this. Ah! <laughs> Zeke, you have been deemed ineligible. Seriously, guys? Bye, Zeke. Um, you won't be missed. I don't want to sound rude, but I'm sorry it came to this. Same, you see. But it's... Uh, but it, it, but it is what it is. I feel sorry that you got voted off instead of me. That hurts. See, please say sorry, Ivy. Jeez, say goodbye to the others. Good luck to the rest of you. The competition's only, competition's only heating up from here. Yeah, you won't be missed. Now there's six people left. Oh my goodness. Congratulations to our final five. Now, I suggest you should get some shut eye because you'll want to be your freshest for the next challenge. And that's a wrap. Great work, everyone. As the crew starts to break down the equipment and the contestants head back to the house, Mackenzie pulls you aside. I think I need to talk to you now. Mackenzie? Mackenzie, what's wrong? I know how to figure out who eliminated you once and for all. Really? No. Tell us who now! Ugh, hey, waiting. Will you and Mackenzie be able to uncover the truth, or will your plans be thrown off course? 
I really, I'm, I have a feeling they're gonna be thrown off course. Find out in the, on the next episode of America's Most Eligible. Wow. Well, that was weird. But the thing, I want to know who did it. I know it's Omar. It has to be Omar. And I'm, and thank goodness Zeke's out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you just give this video your know, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to, new to the channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. And if you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, just hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video.